Now you decided that this patient needs an NG and OG. Immediately after that, you should think, is there a contraindications to place that? The most commonly or frequently encountered in real life is the question of esophageal varices or varices, whatever you say it. And let me just make it clear this is a contraindication if you if the patient has this or suspected even to have varices do not put it and the most common situation is somebody who has um liver cirrhosis and we don't know if he has varices or not Again, this is a difficult situation, but in such cases, there is a suspicion even if it's low, then do not place it unless the patient is known. Let's say he just had an EGD and we know that he didn't have viruses. Especially this suspicion becomes higher if there are signs of portal hypertension, like ascites, for example. So in such case, please, and this is the most frequently encountered questions about the NGOG. If there is a question, a questionable history of esophageal viruses, do not risk it. Do not cause bleeding unless you are very sure that the patient has no esophageal viruses, then do not put it. The second situation, if the patient is known to have esophageal structure, if the patient tells you sometimes it's hard to know just clinically but if the patient has that history or if you while trying to put an ng tube will come to that that you facing resistance then do not push it forward and just abort the procedure abandon the procedure if the patient has a history suggestive of this let's say um alkaline material ingestion or a complicated esophageal procedure. So this is a contraindication as well. <clears throat> the third thing, these are nasal, then we going access through the nose, right? If there is any recent nasal surgery, right? Or trauma or facial trauma please do not place an NG tube because the risk it may cause further NG and the risk that instead of going downward, going upward to the brain. And I'm sure you've seen x-rays where the NG tube is in the brain instead of downward in the stomach. So that's another um, contraindications. So you need to look into that. The fourth one, is the question about somebody who's in blood thinner, right? An anticoagulation. Let's say he's in Comedin, he's on Eliquis, Abexipan, or he's on Zoralto, uh, Rivaroxipan, you know, and just name it. Or he's on Lovenox or Heparin Rib. Uh, or he's coagulopathic, let's say he's in DIC, for example. Or his INR is elevated for um, say liver disease although we'll come to this this is doesn't mean they are truly coagulopathic but anyway in this case this is a relative contraindication you may see in textbooks it's um, a contraindication but in clinical in real life practice sometimes you need this ng tube or og tube uh, and it's necessary for you for a reason or another so we've done this we put these tubes in those patients but it has to be by somebody experienced that get it from first time and don't keep pushing and shoveling and all of this because you will cause that repetitive trauma cause bleeding and you want to avoid that if there is also mentioned an active gastric ulcer I would also avoid, especially if I'm going to use it for suctioning and vacuuming because that causes injury to the mucosa. If there is an active GI bleed as well, 
do not put don't start to oh let me put a an ng or this or that if the patient has risk of aspiration you better intubate the patient but call gi of course in such scenarios these are the most frequently encountered i think contraindications in the in in, in the wards and in icu in real life practice